What is up, everybody? It's your boy Sniper Six One Zero One on Silent Thunder, and I got some. I got a story for you guys today. I'm not gonna be focusing on my gameplay, though it is a nine in one search and destroy Blackbird. But it's mostly a, a story I got for you. It's a. Well, I'm gonna start out with if ev if you think that every Call of Duty player is a nerd who sits down and does nothing, then you are sadly mistaken. But here it goes. I play tribal baseball for people who don't know, which would be everybody. And uh, we had a game yes we had a game a couple days ago. And it was a it was a big tournament. It was we played five games in the day and then we came back the next day and we played three. But in the when in the five days we played, in the first, one of the games we played, I pitched. And I'm not a great pitcher. I, I for for anyone who's familiar with familiar with baseball I can throw very fast. I, I'm a closer, but I have no control over where I pitch. And I threw one to this kid. I was up and it uh, almost. Uh, it did hit him and it skimmed his arm. But he fell over, and he was like, "Oh, it hurts! It hurts!" I'm like, "I barely hit you. I'm sorry that I hit you though." But a pitcher's not supposed to show emotion. So he walks away. And the next day, it comes out that we're gonna play them for a championship game. And I'm not pitching that game because I suck at pitching. I'm on first. So what happens? One of, the, one of his teammates comes out and he hits it to the he hits it to the shortstop. And the shortstop, you know, my friend, gets picks up the ball and throws it to me. I catch the ball and he's about three feet from the base. On his way over, he just on the way over, he gets his cleat, which have metal spikes on it. And steps on my my heel, my Achilles, the, the tendon on the back of my leg, where my heel is, and break and doesn't break it. He he fractures my ankle, and rips through the skin. I'm on the ground in pain, and my friend, my my right our right fielder, probably my best friend, comes over, and we all know what that means. That was that was intentional. You can't, you have control of where you're gonna go on the base. And for anyone who doesn't know, you the first baseman has. A fraction of the base, and the runner has the rest of it. The runner is supposed to go on the base. He decided that he was going to step on my foot and show me some pain because he was angry. Now, our right fielder, my friend, goes up to him and goes, You know, what the hell, man? What the fuck are you trying to do? And he goes, I didn't do anything. You shouldn't have him. And he looks at me and goes, You shouldn't have my friend. And that's when, that's when all hell breaks loose. Our right fielder tackles this guy and takes him to the ground. I'm I'm on the ground because I can't walk, and our, the rest of our bench, people sitting on our bench, which our backup catcher and our couple pitchers, run out in the field. Everyone on our field is like, "What the hell? What's going on? I don't know what to do." And then they all run out in our field, and we start pushing each other. And these two, my best friend, my, our right fielder, and these guys are just on the ground fighting. And, other, and one of them, one of our their guys on their teams has to break, break them apart. And I think one of our guys was like, "Oh, he's trying to go." Beat him up, so this guy jumps in and he punches another guy in the throat. I think he was trying to aim for his face, but he got him in the throat. And so another guy jumps in, another guy. And another, their bench comes out, and everyone, every player in the field right now is on, and we're pushing each other, and we're, f and fists are thrown, and people are ejected, and parents are on the field, and everything, and it's freaking amazing. It's, it's something that you don't see a lot from our age. It was amazing. I mean. I, it's what good friends would do in right, baseball. That's not that's not supposed to happen. I'm Friendly I'm at home now. I can't play for a week. Or t I can't play for two weeks. I, you know, what else, what can I say really? It was a bad move on his part, and I'm very glad I had friends stick up with me. But back to the story. Our my our, once they got us all settled down, they they set us on the field and they stopped the game, and they can't they then they called it and they said that. We that the other team won because the because our right fielder stopped stopped started the fight apparently, which we thought was crap because we lost. But I, it comes it comes down to and then this is my favorite my favorite part. We have this guy on our team, short chubby man. He is our pitching coach. He looks all, he looks a lot like Santa. He's a professor, and his job is to basically just keep people's heads cool. So and he comes out and goes, you know, sir, that's that's not fair, sir. I mean, you should at least let us continue the game. And the umpire goes, no, no, you can't. You're not going to do that. And we decide. And everyone was like, 
It's, it's really not fair, and this guy has never been angry. He gets the umpire and goes, what the hell are you thinking? You are so fucking retarded. And, we, and we're just like, oh my god. I would be the nicest person we know just cursed off the umpire, and he gets thrown out of the game. And he is, if you, if we, everyone who's not familiar with getting thrown out of the game, it's, you have to leave the park, which is the whole, the whole park, and you are not allowed to enter the park. It's like, an, it's like for anyone who gets thrown out of a building, if you enter the building, they can't call the police. And it's pretty serious, it's, but it's just too, it's too funny. Because, you know, what are you gonna do? So, this is me, signing off. I hope you liked the story. Get a little know about me a little more. Uh, have a nice day. Like and subscribe. Bye.